So now we're looking at the pay down the credit card. So the credit card uh, in one sense is quite simple, but in another way it's a, it's a little bit confusing because the credit card, you can think of it as similar to basically a bank account because it's a financial institution type of account. You can connect it to the financial institutions in the same way that you can do so for the checking accounts and use bank feeds to record the transactions. It functions much like a bank account because you can imagine a type of business where you're making all of your transactions in essence, instead of paying for expenses, utility bill, phone bill and whatnot with a bank transfer, possibly you're using a credit card and then just paying off the credit card, hopefully monthly, hopefully not getting a lot of charges for it, but you have the same transactions. And with those transactions, instead of decreasing the checking account and recording an expense, you're going to be increasing a liability and then you're going to have to pay down the credit card. Now, the reason it gets a little bit confusing is because the, the fact that you're increasing a liability when you make the, the credit card payments gets a little bit, a little bit more confusing than having the asset go down, which is kind of what we're a minder trained to do. And also we, we have the same forms, like we could call it an expense form still, but the expense form usually means to us that we're decreasing the checking account, but we can really pick any kind of financial institution account. So I could pick a credit card and then instead of decreasing the checking account, it's going to increase the credit card. And then when you pay off the credit card, you've got an inter interbank or financial institution to financial institution, which could both have bank feeds on, for example, transaction. It's going to come out of the checking account and the other side's going to be paying down the credit card account, which can be a little bit uh, confusing as well. And then when we pay down the credit card, we could, you might say, well, I'm going to be paying something out of the checking account. So why don't I just make a check form or an expense form, the, the items that reduce the checking account? And you could, and that's another thing that's a little bit, a little bit confusing again, uh, or you can use the pay down the credit card. Now, this is another area similar to what we saw with the transfer form up top where, where you, you can use either option, but possibly this one could be used to kind of sort your data in the transaction detail a little bit differently. Uh, and that could make it a little bit easier in some cases. So, so either one would work.